Inmates are still filling up the Bell County Jail. Bell County officials say the jail was at 90% capacity this now week. Now that's a key number because it's the maximum allowed by the Tax Commission on Jail Standards. Darrell Baker tonight explains what the jail is doing to try and help their inmates. Bell County Judge David Blackburn says the county jail is still maxed out. The situation at the jail continues to be uh, more demand than we have supply. Uh, more, in other words, more inmates coming in to the facility than are leaving. As of Thursday, more than 1,100 inmates are assigned to their facilities, and around 100 are being forced to do lockup in other counties. So we have a total of six interlocal agreements for housing inmates if this one is approved? Correct, yes, sir. This week, Bell County Commissioners approved an inmate transfer agreement with Como County, making it the sixth county to house their inmates. Blackburn says they'll pay $65 a day for each inmate. Commissioners also approved hiring 15 more jailers to beef up their staff as their population grows. I mean, at some point, all the jails are going to be where we're at. And what do we do when we're full statewide? Blackburn says the commission is working to finalize issuing $138 million in new bonds to add hundreds of new beds to the jail and meet other needs. But any project will take at least a few years to complete. Until then, it's just patchwork. We will probably be adding more contracts with other counties to house additional inmates. Um, so I think it's just a continuation of uh, the strategies that we've been employing to try to manage the population as it comes to us. Those bonds could be finalized by next month. In Bell County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.